Hello, hello, it's Kitty, proud to be your thought organizer, coming to you live on a spectacular fall day uh, on November the 2nd. Yes, it's Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it, it's a very, very nice day, and um, I hope it's a pleasant day where you are. And if there are a few clouds, uh, whether they be physical above you or, or in your head, just trust me on this. Reach through those clouds for the blue sky. Trust me, there is blue sky or clear sky above those clouds, and just reach through them. Feel it. Feel the, feel the clarity, and it, it will work. Try this mental trick. I, I've, I have tried it many, many times, and it really does work. Just look up and go. Oh, ah! I can feel. I can see. Try it. Direct message me. Let me know how it works. All right. Who am I? I am Kitty Anders with DeclutterTheBrain.com. And what do I do? I help people. Uh, I help entrepreneurs to organize their space and streamline their thoughts so that they can uh, focus <laughs> on <laughs> attracting and serving premium clients. Now, I do have over 20 years experience in helping people to gain control over their surroundings, uh, whether that be through vir uh, my virtual decluttering, which is what I do now, all the way back to my uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning days when I had a cleaning company. It's all about gaining control over your surroundings and feeling good about where you live. And I, it, I, through that, I have developed certainly a strong belief that uh, physical clutter and lack of concentration are very closely related. I even uh, discovered that this morning. Oh yeah, in my, in my own home. Hey, we deal with this every single day. So if you've got a bit of a clutter problem, don't worry. It's, uh, it's not just you, honey. Um, everybody has it every day and we just need to start and stay on top of it. And I've also developed a step-by-step -step one system that has helped me and my clients go from overwhelmed and struggling to organized and thriving. Hmm? What? Organized and thriving? Whoa, that sounds like something I want. Yeah? And do you... And, but, you know, I'm working at it slowly. Well, what if you could get there more quickly? What if you could be organized and thriving like yesterday? Now, Kitty, I order. Man, no. Yes? Okay. Tell you what. You just hold that thought, and I will give you your next step to take to get you further, faster. Uh, in about 10 minutes from now, not even. All right. So, um... This week we are talking about, doesn't sound like it would be a decluttering subject, and I realize this, but it's, um, it's, uh, it is, it, it's about decluttering the brain. And what is it, what is it about this week? We are talking about, hello, thank you for joining. Uh, the clocks go back, uh, they fall back this Sunday, and that can cause people real, it can wreak real mental havoc. Hello, thank you for joining. Uh, it can really wreak mental havoc in, in people. It can kind of mess you up, and especially if, you're, if you happen to be ADHD, which I am a flag-waving, foot-stomping member. Yes, I am, and many of my clients are, and many entrepreneurs are, oh yeah, 30% uh, will admit that they've been diagnosed and the number is a lot closer to 60 or 70 percent. Why? Because entrepreneurs are risk takers, which is part of the ADHD. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, I can't see who sent that, I'm sorry. Um, uh, ADHDers are risk, risk takers, but we like our structure and when something is for, uh, foisted upon us like the time change. We don't cotton to this kind of stuff very well. So this week is all about tips to very simple tips to uh, to keep you on an even keel over the next few months. Hello, Michael. God love you. Uh, <laughs> all right. So uh, day one of, uh, of our tips is to make sure that you keep your regular schedule. 
and, and routine. Now, Michael here, for example, he is, Michael, are you up at 4 a.m. or are you out the door at 4 a.m.? If, if you're not driving, if you could, if you could put that in the chat, um, are you up or are you out the door? At 4 a.m. and this the and then I can address I can address more of that I'm very curious about this um, while we're waiting for Michael I'm going to suggest uh, actually uh, I'm gonna bounce back and forth a little bit just because Michael's answer is important what you want to do is you want to work with the light all right and um, you you want to make sure that you are getting the most important things done first. Now, um, how to do this? Uh, it, we're, we're, as you're keeping your regular schedule, your regular routine, and what do I mean by that? I mean going to bed at the same time. Well, I don't wanna. Okay. Or getting up at the same time. Just keep that and keep that regular schedule happening. Okay. It's the same as what I advise during the summer months is to keep your regular schedule. Why? Because your body has a circadian rhythm that it gets used to. And if you drastically change it just because the, because the hours outside are different, then it wreaks further havoc on that poor your body and your brain. Um, um, so speaking speaking of asking Michael if he's up or is, um, at work at 4 a.m. Uh, and I can't remember. Uh, I do suggest that, and this has worked for me. This is per personal experience. Is get up a little bit earlier while it's still dark so that you are, your teeth are brushed, you're quaffed, you're ready um, uh, when daylight hits, so that you can work with the light and get the most important things done first. Because, frankly, uh, and if you're watching on replay or right now, just um, put in, do you get your best work done during the day? You may be a night owl, and, and fair enough, okay, but, uh, Realistically, yeah, you work better with the light. So when I say get up um, a little bit earlier, I don't mean all of a sudden you're normally getting up at 6.30. Oh, I'm going to get up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. No, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your body. Don't do that to your brain. Back it up in uh, five-minute increments, I suggest, max. I've done it in two-minute increments. Is it slow? Yes. Is it tedious? Yes. Is it also the best way to retrain your brain? Absolutely. That's the same the way my programs work. All right, so today we get to some more juicy stuff. Um, let there be light. <sighs> okay, now this is external light and internal light. We have, we have less in the way of daylight. Even, even in the morning, I notice that I am using, what am I using? I'm using my light box a little bit more. If you do not have a light box, or it used to be called a, a sun lamp, um, light provider, whatever it is you want to call it, I really, really suggest that you avail yourself of a light box. You can get them on, uh, on, uh, the brand that I use is called Daylight, and it's got a little logo of, of sunshine, okay? And you can get it on Amazon for, you can get the little mini version, I'll have that ready to show you tomorrow, um, for, I think it was about $70 on Amazon, or you can get the Behemoth for close to $300. The little mini one is just fine, and use that in the morning, they say first thing in the morning. I don't usually use it until about eight, nine, nine o'clock. But use that, even if it's a foggy day in the summer, I will use it, okay? It really, really helps. Um, I know that Michael, Michael has, has used his. Most of my clients are real devotees of a light box. 
Um, <clears throat> also, it's what you're putting into your body. Make sure that, yeah, I have, here I am with the vitamin bottles again. Uh, make sure that you're still taking your vitamin Bs. Okay, this is B1, B100, this is a B complex. So the B12, if that is, well, I'm taking B12 because my doctor says so. It's not enough. Trust me on this, um, studies have shown. You need the B6, you need all of your Bs, and you need lots of them. Um, also, oh, this is the time. If you're not already taking vitamin D uh, through the year, start taking it now. I mean, go to the store today. Don't walk, run to the store. Grab yourself some vitamin Ds. Um, the RDA uh, max is about 10,000. I, I vary it through the year. Right now I'm at 4,000 and in the middle of January I'll be up to 10,000. Then I'll drop it back down. But make sure that you remember your vitamin Ds starting today. Uh, also, I have found um, ADHDers are as studies have shown, are more are more susceptible to SAD, seasonal affective disorder, and so I strongly recommend um, uh, ginseng, ginseng, and ginkgo biloba. Has I told you a couple of, three weeks ago I was going to start on this. Wow, what a difference! Okay, so uh, try those, but definitely um, they've helped me. Uh, but definitely more vitamin B. And D, and be careful about your carbohydrate um, intake, because yeah, I know it's tempting to sit on the couch with a bag of Doritos. Don't do it. You can sit on it, but don't eat the whole bag of Doritos. Two, three, four. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just just make sure that you you don't. Well, because carbs slow you down. This is the time to really beef up your your protein in your diet. Okie dokie. All right, so that is it for today. If you have any questions, comments, uh, just send me a direct message or put it in in the post. Direct message on Facebook is always your fastest bet. Um, and uh, if you like this video, just hit that share button because a lot of people are challenged with the shorter days and they could use a hand and that's what we do here at Declutter the Brain. Uh, if you're curious about other videos I've made on a wide variety of topics or you're just, uh, you want to see a wide variety of hairstyles, just go to Declutter the Brain on YouTube and we are there cataloged and organized for you. What else would you expect from your thought organizer? Okie dokie. Um, I promised you one step and one step I shall give you. Do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back now? I know, Kitty, I can do my own decluttering. I can do it. I'll just get around to it. Yes, but what could you accomplish if you get it done faster? A year end is coming. Wouldn't you love to just start the new year fresh and clean? I am reorganizing my own apartment with this in mind. Will it get done by the weekend? No, it won't. I'm giving myself another six weeks, but it will be good. And this is the time for you to think to start thinking about this too. Not start thinking about it. Do something about it because I know that you're an action taker. If you're watching this video, I know that you're an action taker. So. Well, where's the one step, Kitty? Okay, here's the one step. Scroll down in the notes and you will see a link that you can click and download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. It's intended as a grounding tool for your declutter journey and beyond because um, I, sorry. <laughs> I missed a mental sentence there. It comes with seven short little videos so that you never you know, from yours truly so that you never feel alone in the process because believe me decluttering can be a lonely journey. If you've ever been a room with stuff everywhere you feel like the only person on the planet mm -hmm. yeah all right and while you're there you can book up uh go ahead and book a quick and free co conquer the clutter conquer the chaos call and um, I'll give you a right now plan for jumpstart results. Jumpstart plan for right now results. Either way, we'll make it happen. All right, till tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching.
Talk to you soon. Bye for now.